Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to work on a Halloween costume for Rockbiter from NeverEnding Story. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I did buy a few mattress pads from uh, Walmart, and I'm going to start cutting them up and uh, gluing them together and seeing what I come up with. So I'm just going to document it to show you how I'm doing it, and hopefully it'll help you on your build too. Okay, so I got to cut some of this foam. Uh, this is the foam that I bought. Uh, some twin mattress foam pads from Walmart and uh, I measured uh, the length. This is my body piece. I just did the legs and we just put a straight piece of wood here. I'm going to cut with a cutting knife all the way down, a box cutting knife, and uh, we'll get that piece. Alright, I'm showing you the legs that I've done so far. Um, just kind of eyeballed it uh, with what they look like. Here's what it looks like there. Uh, and then I hot glued the seams here and I'm gonna trim it up and try to texture it when I paint it uh, I can also put pieces of rock on this side, but um, I actually like how this is turning out so far It's pretty nice and big easy to move around. We'll see how it goes All right, a completed Primary layout of the main pieces body legs and arms. This is about two and a half twin mattress foam pads so uh, fits all right now I just got to figure out how to make it look like a rock and uh, do a face. Okay, so Rockbiter's got uh, pointy shoulders, and I cut out some holes for my arms on each side. I also went ahead and glued these shoulders, pinned them down, and I am using this wood to give it a nice tight hold while it dries. There's some probably pressure like that. The paint plan. Just going to roll out some gray paint. My roller out on this foam and actually just did one test run and pff, shoots looking pretty good. I think it's going to be quick to paint this. I want to get it kind of a darker gray, light gray, so that when I put on texture, it looks like a rock. Well, the paint plan totally worked. Rolling it on was super quick. It only took like 10 minutes. So this is awesome. Uh, good way to do it for foam. Big pieces of foam. Use a roller. Also tip, if you want to use your roller an another day, just wrap it in some plastic wrap or like a plastic bag and it'll keep it uh, nice and ready and soft for next time. Here's what I ended up with for the head. Now, it was more of a conical shape before and I ended up gluing the back and I had to cut it away because once I put it on the once I put it on the rest of the body it looked more like a clan hood so it's gonna sit on the on the body like that I'm gonna glue it on there, but uh, just experiment with the head shape. Yeah, and there's the head on the body. I also started gluing on pieces of rock, and I also added uh, the shoulder pads because with the arms, there's a gap where my shoulder meets the the body, so it looks stupid. And so these are supposed to be like rock-looking shoulder areas. So I just glued these down. I don't know how it's gonna look, but next I'm gonna work on the face. Starting to look like rock biter. So I uh, cut out a mouth right here and then I put in little pieces and hot glued some teeth, painted his eyes, put on a nose, and I started spray painting. So I started spray painting and it's looking awesome. It's totally looking like rock. So got the spray paint, it's just a little bit different gray color. I know I'm just kind of brushing in the, uh, the middles and uh, yeah, actually looking better than I thought. So a little more spray paint, man, man, I've got something here. This is looking cool. I just spray painted some rock uh, zigzags in there, and it is looking awesome. This is way cooler than I thought it was going to be. All right, so I just added a uh, spray paint texture. Just kind of did some squiggly lines to make it look rocky on my arms and my legs. And then I added this. So I added a kind of folded over a piece of foam for the bottom because my feet were sticking out. And then I kind of spray painted little lines to make for toes. So it looks like it's feet. And then I noticed when I put all the stuff on, my legs were falling down. So I made some duct tape suspenders and just cut a slit in the foam and uh, just made a little shoulder strap here. And so I'm gonna call it good. I am satisfied with this rock biter. And uh, let me show you what it looks like when it's on. It's